Lindsay, we're joined now by Greg Riley, our pet expert, and Kato, our wonderful pet this morning. Hi, baby. And we're here to... Oh, you want your belly rub? What's his belly rub? I know, he wants his belly rub. And we're here to talk about a really, you know, important subject, because Kato is Pitbull. Kato's a pit bull, and we're kind of be doing a two-for-one today since we're not having a midday right. newscast. Normally, I'll do a pet saver dog mm -hmm. that's looking for a home or a cat. So, Kato um, is actually up for adoption. He's mm -hmm. available at the Tarot Humane Society. Really wonderful dog. He's housebroken. He's 10 years old. Gets along with other dogs. Really likes people. He and is sweet. He really is a sweet dog. Um, if you're interested in Cato, you can find him at the Tarot Humane Society again, and that phone number is area code 812-232-0293. And isn't this month Pitbull Awareness Month or, or something to do with making people more aware about Pitbulls? Because right. they are sweet dogs. Right. You just have to raise them properly. Right, correct. Mm -hmm. um, Hamilton County, along with mm -hmm. conjunction of the Tarot Humane Society, are joining uh, at the end of this month on mm -hmm. March 31st to raise awareness and education mm -hmm. for pit bulls and generally they really do get a bad rap mostly right. uh, you just have to realize that as a terrier breed they're incredibly intelligent they're very strong uh, they need stimulus and um, if you treat them quite well they will respond in kind like Kato. Kato is loving his belly rubs this morning he really is um, most of these dogs are has really a bad reputation, like I was saying. Most of your dogs that you're going to be seeing that are going to be uh, bite wounds are going to be like, say, your smaller dogs, like your Cocker Spaniels, your Dachshunds, um, sometimes even like your Chihuahuas. But um, obviously with these dogs, uh, you really have to keep a firm leash on them, more or less. You can't let them run large or anything like that. Uh, if you think of a pit bull, they're, like I was saying, they're highly intelligent. And if you think of giving say a bunch of teenagers, um, you know, a bottle of liquor and some car keys, of course they're going to get in trouble. Right, 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 right. So if you know that and if you go into that, you should actually get a really nice dog out of this. And they, you know, there was that recent story of the news anchor that got bit in the face right. by the pit bull, but I, it was one of those cases where she was probably doing things that she probably shouldn't have been doing with an, with an animal that you don't really know. Right, exactly. I mean, you know, I can probably do this and I'll be fine, obviously, because he's been licking my face, you know, throughout the whole time. But if a stranger comes up to him, I'm certainly not going to encourage right. them, go up right. to Cato and, you know, stick your face in there. And are these dogs good with kids? Really good with kids, really. Uh, very loyal. Uh, they actually get along with other dogs. Cato gets along with other dogs. Um, I've got a couple of information and some links uh, okay. through various uh, organizations throughout the valley. If you go to the Greg the, Greg the Pet Guy on Facebook, you'll find that. that Wonderful. One. And again, if we want to adopt Cato, where do we go? Uh, you can go to the Tarot Humane Society. And again, that phone number is area code 812-232-0293. Thank you very much. And um, thank you, Cato. He's looking very festive for St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's you so Day. Thank you so much. As we take it, right, here's another look at how you can get a hold of Greg Riley. If you have any questions, please well, check out his Facebook page. And also, if you'd like to adopt Cato, there's all that information. You're watching News 10 this morning. We'll be right back.